What I would like to do is use the time that is coming now to talk about some things that have come to mind. We're in such a hurry most of the time, we never get much chance to talk. The result is a kind of endless day-to-day -day shallowness, a monotony that leaves a person wondering years later where all the time went and sorry that it's all gone. Now that we do have some time, and know it, I would like to use the time to talk in some depth about things that seem important. I can see by my watch, without taking my hand from the left grip of the cycle, that it is 8.30 in the morning. You see things vacationing on a motorcycle in a way that is completely different from any other. In a car, you're always in a compartment, and because you're used to it, you don't realize that through that car window, everything you see is just more TV. You're a passive observer, and it is all moving by you boringly in a frame. On a cycle, the frame is gone. You're completely in contact with it all. You're in the scene, not just watching it anymore. And the sense of presence is overwhelming. That concrete whizzing by five inches below your foot is the real thing. The same stuff you walk on. It's right there, so blurred you can't focus on it, yet you can put your foot down and touch it any time. And the whole thing, the whole experience, is never removed from immediate consciousness. Secondary roads are preferred. Paved country roads are the best. State highways are next. Freeways are the worst. We want to make good time. But for us now, this is measured with emphasis on good rather than time. And when you make that shift in emphasis, the whole approach changes. Roads with little traffic are more enjoyable, as well as safer. Roads free of drive-ins and billboards are better. Roads where groves and meadows and orchards and lawns come almost to the shoulder, where kids wave to you when you ride by where people look from their porches to see who it is, where when you stop to ask directions or information, the answer tends to be longer than you want rather than short, where people ask where you're from and how long you've been riding. It was some years ago that my wife and I and our friends first began to catch on to these roads. We took them once in a while for variety or for a shortcut to another main highway and each time the scenery was grand and we left the road with a feeling of relaxation and enjoyment. We did this time after time before realizing what should have been obvious. These roads are truly different from the main ones. The whole pace of life and personality of the people who live along them are different. They're not going anywhere. They're not too busy to be courteous. The here-ness and now-ness of things is something they know all about. It's the others. The ones who moved to the cities years ago and their lost offspring, who have all but forgotten it. The discovery was a real find. I've wondered why it took us so long to catch on. We saw it and yet we didn't see it. Or rather we were trained not to see it, conned perhaps, into thinking that the real action was metropolitan. And all this was just boring hinterland. It was a puzzling thing. The truth knocks on the door and you say, go away, I'm looking for the truth. And so it goes away. Puzzling. 